So friends, this across the street right here, this building is 7,000 Santa Monica Boulevard. That is Radio Recorders. Elvis recorded a ton of things right here. And when I say a ton, I mean a ton of things. Also, Stevie Wonder, the Beach Boys, Nat King Cole, Bean Crosby. Jailhouse Rock Sessions were here. Blue Hawaii, Girl Happy, Fun in Acapulco, Viva Las Vegas. All kinds of stuff happened right here in this building. Let's walk across and take a look. Jailhouse Rock? Yeah, Jailhouse Rock Sessions. Here we go. Here we go. There's my little car right there. That's what I'm driving. That is I smell marijuana everywhere I go here. Mm -hmm. Bring me there. Mm-hmm, right here. Didn't I hit this? Yeah. Come on. See, I can't use that. I know. Just 15 seconds. Radio recorders. The studio was built by RCA in 1928. And you see Elvis, Stevie Wonder, the Beach Boys, Nat King Cole, and Bing Crosby. All right here, friends. It is a art museum now, I believe. Let's see if we can go in now. There's only one thing here that is original. And we're going to see if we could just see it. The rest of it is completely changed. We do uh, Elvis stuff. And we heard that the, um, the only thing that's left really in the building that's original is a safe. That's right. Can I yes. see that safe? Sure, come on up. Thank you. Okay, well, I don't want to put you out. No. But we would love to see it. Where all the original master tapes were kept. Yes, yes. Wow. <laughs> it's bigger than I thought it was. Yeah, I mean, it's, you can definitely walk in. Right now, there's boxes. Oh, yeah, that's not nice. No, thank you. <laughs> that is that is awesome. Thank you for yeah, showing us that. And uh, we had heard that uh, somebody had come here, y'all had talked to them, and they told us that that was here. Yeah. But I know the rest of the building interior is not anywhere totally near the different. same. We have an original acoustic flocking wall that's behind our back wall, which mm -hmm. is really beautiful. There's some images on our website of it, but we've had to close it in. Oh, really? Basically, yeah. So you can't see it anymore now? You're not saying right it's now. Oh, I mean, oh, okay. we have plans in the future to kind of unwall it yeah. and, and reveal yeah, it. Yeah, and let it be a but, part of it. That's cool. Um, for now, for our uses, we need a kind of clean gallery space. I understand. So y'all do art galleries here? We do, yeah. So we're a nonprofit. We work like museums. We don't sell anything. We're just, um, we map exhibitions and produce artwork for people. Very cool. Yep, there it is. Put all this in there. But there's a really tall room that would have been on this back corner, which would have been the studio, which would, I'm assuming, would be on the so other side of this wall. You're talking about those things right here. Um, actually, it's a little different. It, um, I can show you an image on my website, on our computer. Sure, but, thank um, you. We don't want to take up any of your time. Yeah, it's like it's we wanted to. We love it when people come in. We wanted to get this. Here it is, right here. So. So, she's was on the other side of that. So you can look at the floor and tell where some of the walls were. You see, right here. Look at that floor. Yeah. That's Elvis in the floor right there. So let's get a closer look at that floor. You see how shiny that floor is? And now look at how shiny this is. It was somewhere, she said the booth was where we were at where the safe is, is right up there. And you can see how tall this room is right there. And Richard said that it was on this side of the building when you look at it it was further back but you can tell that this is polished concrete and so is here your thing closed 
These are sub cabinets, these things in the corners. You scroll. And you can turn it sideways, it'll get bigger. Yeah, look at that. So you can even look right down there, and it's different than the rest of the floor. It was like they put carpet there, and then the rest of it was shiny. So you see where Elvis is standing on carpet? And it almost looks like it's about the size of this. If you look at that photo where that carpet ends, that looks like, you see that? That little corner looks like it might be that corner right there. I don't know if it is, but it's possible. But she said the sound booth was up high. It does look like stuff that's been here. Yeah, it looks like something was stuck down. You see that? Did yeah, you, see the you can see that design. Is that that design? Maybe. Maybe we've uncovered something. It won't focus. There it goes. So we don't know, but it's possible. So Thank you. Know where the studio would have been? Um, I yeah, don't know. I showed you in that picture. This building goes way back, right? Yeah. We thought it, yeah. it goes a lot there's further back. Another, there's a film production company in the suite behind us. Okay. But you think it was over here? I think it was over there. We've had people come in here mm -hmm. and tell us that there's a sweet spot mm -hmm. sort of like right here. That mm -hmm. this is where a lot of performers would stand because of the acoustics. Mm -hmm. but I don't know how true that is. Yeah. <laughs> well, it looks like to me that there's walls. There was walls there. Yep. When exactly. we were looking at the carpet that you see him on. Right, exactly. See that right it looks like it's that Look square that. over there. Down, exactly. Look at that but I don't there. see that pole there is the only problem with that. There was also a second space owned by this recording studio called the Annex Building, mm -hmm. which is a couple blocks away. Mm -hmm. um, so I know he recorded at both spaces. Mm -hmm. Let's see, that could be in the Annex Building. Yeah. Very cool. Thank you so much. Thank you for being so nice. Yes, ma'am. They, they will come. It is. It's great history. Thank you. Thank you for turning that on for us. So, radio recorders, friends. All right, so let's go to the alley. Richard said if we go down in the alley, you see this is native. And where we were at was about here. That was the end of the building. But you can see the building goes on down. He said if you go down, and these trees, friends, are, are the age, they would have been here. Not this big, but they would have been here. He said if you come back here and you look, You'll see the building bump up in the middle. And he said this was the taller part of the building right there. And he feels like that the studio, the big tall part of the studio would have been right here. And you can see that there's something in there. You really can't see through. But she said there's a movie production company that is in this part. But she also said that there's an annex. Look at that. She said there's an annex where he recorded in another building. So somebody's recording, listen. So now that we've taken a look inside, let's take a trip down memory lane. This is the way radio recorders would have looked way back in the day. A lot of things happened here. Elvis recorded a lot of songs here, hundreds. I'm not going to go into every song. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the very first recording session that he did, which would have been September of 1956. So what we're going to do is talk about uh, first, this right here is the union contract 
that Elvis signed for the American Federation of Musicians, and it is for Elvis, Bill, Scotty, and DJ, and it's for September the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd for specific things for RCA Victor. Now let's look on the back of this contract, and you'll actually see how much they got paid for these songs. Two eighty-eight seventy-five for Bill, Scotty, and DJ, five seventy-seven fifty for Elvis. Now check out the songs that they recorded. This is going to blow your mind. They recorded in this particular session, Playing for Keeps, How's the World Treating You, Old Shep, Any Place is Paradise, Rip It Up, Love Me, When My Blue Moon Turns to Gold Again, Paralyzed, Ready Teddy, How Do You Think I Feel, Long Tall Sally, Too Much, and First in Line. And many of these were really big hits, as you know. Too Much is one of my personal favorites. Some other things that were recorded here are, I mean, just amazing things. GI Blues soundtrack, Viva Las Vegas, Roust About, Frankie and Johnny, Paradise Hawaiian Style, King Creole, Girls, 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 uh, Loving You soundtrack, Jailhouse Rock soundtrack, uh, Bossa Nova Baby, If Every Day Was Just Like Christmas, Kid Galahad, It Happened at the World's Fair, Fun in Acapulco, and I could just go on and on and on. Teddy Bear, Loving You. All these things were recorded here, all shook up. That's when your heartaches begin. This is a legendary studio, and Elvis made it legendary. Now, many other people recorded here, too. The list is very, very, very long. You can look that up on your own. So let's talk about some session notes. You see on the top left, it says Radio Recorder, 700 Santa Monica Boulevard, which is where we were at. This is for Flaming Star, 20th Century Fox. Uh, it looks like uh, October of 1960. And it's showing you take one, take two. And it says, it's got notes in there. It says, Elvis talks about being a flaming arrow, and he laughs at the end of the fourth take. So it's got little things in there like that. That. And it says use ending from fourth take. So what they'll do is take these pieces of the songs and splice them all together. And that's what becomes the final project that you actually hear. Here's another session log. And you can see that it says radio recorders top left. And this is Blue Hawaii. And it says Paramount Pictures. This is March of 1961. And this is the I Can't Help Falling in Love session, which I know all of you who know the song. And it also says Wild Ukulele Take. You see that right there? That's pretty cool stuff. I love these uh, session notes. And I also love these acetates. This is an acetate from Radio Recorders, and this is the song from G.I. Blues. They call your daddy Big Boots, and Big Boots is his name. Love that song. I sing that to my grandbaby. And uh, just iconic music was recorded here. And I also want to say that uh, in uh, Radio Recorders, there was actually two different buildings, and we're going to talk about the second one in a moment. They used Studio B in the first building for most of the stuff, but the Jailhouse Rock soundtrack was actually done in the Annex building in Studio 1. And I'll show you the Annex building right now. The annex is lower left, you see that. Top right is 7000 Santa Monica Boulevard, which is the main studio. The little yellow line that I drew was where they would run cables from the annex building over to the recording side because they would use the annex building not just for sessions, they would also use it for an echo chamber. And the way they would do it was they had a speaker in a room with the microphone in the room and they would pipe sound, pipe a vocal in, and the distance that the microphone was from the speaker would create an echo and that's how they would do it there but the jailhouse rock sessions were actually recorded in the annex and while we were there i didn't try to go in the annex it's a completely different building but I'll show you where it's at. So you see it's down the alley. I'm on the back corner of 7000 on the main studio. I'm turning down the alleyway. If you go all the way to the end of the alley to North Sycamore, turn left, it is on your left. The address would be 1032 North Sycamore. It's at the very end of this where that guy's down there walking. If you turn left right there, I'll show you what the front looks like. This was the other studio, the annex, and Jailhouse Rock was recorded here. Now the first building that we were in in 2012 you can see this is march the 5th that building actually caught on fire and burned and a lot of the interior was gone as you saw when we went in so that explains to you what actually happened to this studio so friends i hope you enjoyed seeing radio recorders this is where some iconic elvis music and many other stars as well were recorded but you know we're focusing on elvis so that's why we're doing it like this 
So each time I work on a video like this, I learn something and something I had no idea of that happened is just after these sessions, which was September 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, on September the 9th, Elvis and Scotty and Bill and DJ appeared on the Ed Sullivan Show for the very first time. I always thought it was New York, but guess what? It was in Hollywood, friends, at the CBS studios. This is Elvis talking to his audience before they play. The reason it wasn't in New York, Ed Sullivan was recovering from a head-on collision an automobile accident. So they had a special guest host, Charles Lawton, who played Captain Kidd on Mutiny on the Bounty. And he more or less said, okay, here from New York, here's Elvis in Hollywood. And then they cut to Elvis. This is Elvis reading cue cards, getting ready for the show. They played the show from Hollywood, friends. I always thought that the first time was in New York. Not so. The last times that he played, the other times that he was on the Ed Sullivan Show, they were all done in New York. The very first time, which these photographs are from, was done in Hollywood without Elvis ever meeting Ed Sullivan. Bet you didn't know that. I sure didn't. So we found Hollywood and that area to be a very interesting place with all kinds of stuff to see. If you ever get a chance to go, I highly recommend it. And hopefully these videos will help you find the important spots and aspects of it and know the history.